I feel like he's really excited to be up there. Hunter Labrada and Ian Valair just competed in the pre-judging for Olympia 2022. Finals is going to be tomorrow, but we're giving our opinions on what we just saw. And I was excited to see him because last year I was front row at the Olympia. I watched these guys in person. And so it was interesting to see how they've evolved and see him back on stage again, giving another shot. Um, impressed with both. I was especially impressed with Ian Valair's conditioning. There was a couple poses where he hit where like his serratus anterior and some of these some of this definition really popped. I think he did a great job of initially focusing on his side poses, which are show this massive back thickness that I don't think anybody else has, like uh, except maybe um, Akeem Williams has something like that. But this back thickness and his hamstrings, glutes, and the thickness from the side. So he did a lot of these side poses, which were great. Um, I think his condition was fantastic. I mentioned this in another video. The issue is that for some reason, Ian, I guess, uh, probably genetically or something like that, and we don't know what this is, but there, his muscles don't look very separated from each other. Even when he's extremely low body fat, you can tell so with the striations in the muscle. So that, I think, makes it less appealing on a frontal look. So that's why I think the frontal looks are not, not so good. Also, oh, go ahead. You know, my favorite thing about Labrada is, though, is that when he flexes, he smiles. And it's not, he's not trying to really smile. He's, he's, it's more like this, but it comes across as like such a warm, like excited smile. I feel like he's really excited to be up there. If I feel like Ian was excited about the Olympia, but maybe potentially intimidated by the competition. But mm -hmm. I feel like he should feel that he, he succeeded. He, he brought a better package than I think he's ever brought before. You can see that initially. Hunter also did the same thing in my opinion. So last year you saw Hunter in person. There's this rumor about Hunter that if you see him in person, he looks much better than on camera. Mm -hmm. Is that true? He looked freaky to me. Hunter had veins popping out everywhere that, you know, on the screen with the resolution. I don't know if you can really see it, but when you're watching in person, you're like, oh my God, when he flexes, like there's veins, spider veins crawling everywhere, which you're not really given points for the fact you have veins, but the veins are a good indication that you hit the right conditioning, that you've got no water. Um, so, it, it, and then he had good shape, right? But it, it, he looked watery. I mean, he was clearly sweating a lot in the... In the Hunter anyway. always looks like he's trying really hard. And I don't know if that kind of works. You know, it, it, you kind of want to like flex as hard as you can and show as much definition, but you kind of also want to make it look easy and like you're having fun. I think sometimes Hunter's aggressive flexing and posing and sweating <laughs> may kind of distract. But, but the thing is, the rule is you're not supposed to be able to sweat that much. You not have that wa much water under your skin. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not making fun of it. I was, it was a new, I've never seen someone sweat that much on the mm -hmm. Olympia stage and get fourth. Mm -hmm. So he got fourth and he was clearly less uh, conditioned than Nick Walker got fifth. So this year, the change is this though. Hunter comes in in the best condition we've ever seen him, I think. Very good condition. Clearly gained muscle. His back gained muscle. He looks fantastic. Much better than last year. But he's out of the top five. I mean, he looks like he's out of the mm -hmm. top five. He wasn't compared to the top five that much, at least. And Samson and Derek Lunsford and Samson Dada both seem to be com uh, competing with Nick Walker and Rami and uh, those guys. So it I, I think like it was more competitive this year. Yeah, so this was the concern. What they, people were thinking was that William and other people, which it could still be, unfortunately, but those guys might, the older people might be going backwards and the, the old guard might be moving back, which I guess did happen sort of with, um, with Akeem Williams and Charles Griffin in a way. But then at the same time, Ian and Hunter both took a step back so far. And Ian may have taken an even bigger step potentially because Chris will look to me in that call out to be beating him. Mm. So... I, I feel I feel bad about it because he brought a better package and Hunter also brought a m much better package. He had more to improve on, of course, in a year, but both of them did, brought up better packages. And it's possible that they are the people moving uh, that that are like becoming relics. And that's probably not true. Hopefully next year, if not due to just other people retiring they, and them moving up, eventually they come back up. But it's interesting. They separated Nick from Ian and Hunter mm -hmm. in a very clear way. Mm. And those are our thoughts for now.